Hello and welcome to this KRWG webcast. I'm Carlos Correa. All eyes are on the big dance tonight as the New Mexico State Aggies face Michigan State in the first round of the NCAA. Local sports bars are expecting big crowds tonight. Over at the Game Sports Bar and Grill, workers spent the morning preparing for all the Aggie fans. People have already started making reservations to watch the game there. Owners say they plan to be fully staffed with plenty of team spirit. Las Cruces really is a New Mexico State University town, and when our teams do well, we come out in bulk to support them. And so I know there's a lot of people in Spokane tonight, and there's a lot of people here that couldn't make the trip, so we're just really excited. As you know, the Aggies beat Utah State 69-63 to last weekend in the championship game of the WAC tournament. This is NMSU's 18th time at the Big Dance. Now, if you're planning to attend one of the many watch parties in town, then Brian Cox from the Sports Accessory Store may have what you need. He joins us now. And Brian, how can fans prepare for their watch parties? Some of the hottest tickets in town has been the Aggie apparel. From the WAC Championship shirts that we have over here to everything else as far as if you need something for your watch party, we have your pint glasses, we have your shot glasses, we even have your coasters for all your drinks. But right now, it's all about the crimson and white. That's for sure. What do you think about all the support the community is showing this team? I'm really proud of the town stepping up this week, even though they haven't been that big of Aggie fans as of lately. But I'm really proud of this town stepping up to the Aggies and giving their support. And I think this is the beginning of something that's going to carry through in the fall. Now, there's a lot of talk about who will win tonight. Do you have any predictions? With today's game, I'm really excited because when a 12 seed faces a 5 seed, that is one of the better chances of an upset. So. I'm rooting for our Aggies to beat Michigan State. All right, we'll see what happens. Brian Cox, thanks for joining us. St. Patrick's Day has come and gone, and now people in our community are preparing for St. Baldrick's. The event raises money and support for childhood cancer. More than 100 people are expected to shave their heads, including Doña Ana County Commissioner Scott Crayling. Um, it feels good. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not that concerned about it. Uh, when I was in high school, um, I, you know, I shaved my head once. Um, I, I'd rather get a, a, you know, I'd rather get my normal haircut. I, I hope it doesn't look too bad. Um, I hope it com comes back. Um, but uh, you know, it's it's not too, it's not too nerve-wracking. Okay. The third annual St. Baldrick's <laughs> event takes place at the Dickerson's Event Center Saturday at 3 p.m. Work along Espina Street in Las Cruces may slow your commute. El Paso Electric is servicing power utilities between Mesa Avenue and Fringer Street for the next four weeks. The lane closures will also impact Roadrunner Transit Route number 30. Workers with the Public Works Department encourage people to use alternative routes. Meanwhile, access to businesses will be maintained during construction. The doors to the new federal courthouse are officially open. It costs more than $90 million to build this facility. Workers say it took four days to move everything into the building. Construction on the new federal courthouse began back in 2007. It looks like we'll be having a pleasant weekend as the new spring season rolls in. Forecasters are predicting a high of 54 degrees on Saturday. A bit cool, but the sun will be out on the first day of spring. Sunday, look for highs in the low 60s, and by the start of the week, we'll be up in the 70s. 71 is predicted for Monday and a high of 73 on Tuesday. Remember, you can follow us on Twitter. Just look for username KRWG, and we're now on Facebook. You can always find us online at krwg.org. And that's all the time we have. Thanks for watching. I'm Carlos Correa.